It says, And when they came to the crowd, a man came up and, uh, and kneeling before him said, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he has seizures and he suffers terribly. For often he falls into the fire and often into water. And I brought him to your disciples, but they could not heal him. And Jesus answered, Oh, faithless and twisted generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him here to me. So you don't get these lines until you become a parent. Uh, to those who don't have children, Jesus seems like he gets angry a lot, irritated, he's a meanie. But when you have invested everything you have in someone, you share the plans you have for them, give them all the tools that they need to succeed, and they just blow you off, it's a source of crushing disappointment. Parents don't become disappointed with a kid down the street because, frankly, we really don't care about them. <laughs> However, with our own, the more we care, the more we invest, the more we hurt when they fall short. Now, more often than not, the parent cares far more for the well-being of the child than the child cares for their own long-term well-being. Now, the child does care about their immediate comfort. And they care about their pleasure. But the parent cares about their actual and eternal well-being. To those who know what it means, the pain in Jesus' expression is palatable to them. He says, O oh, faithless and twisted generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? So I'm convinced that the emotional toll of the cross was far more unbearable than the physical pain. What a disappointment we all are. Yet, he willingly gave himself up. Nonetheless. He knew exactly what our react reaction would be, our rejection, but he put himself out there anyway. And that is the definition of love. Love isn't the guy that takes you to nice restaurants or exotic, expensive locations because he wants to get in your pants. And love isn't your buddies who would like to party with you and to tell you 20 times, I love you, man, when they're drunk. Love is giving up all you have for the welfare of someone else. And when they reject and despise you, because part of that sacrifice for them also entails you telling them they need to give up the things that aren't good for them, your response isn't to reject them in turn, it's to sacrifice even more so that you can save it. So we need to understand that Jesus' expression here of aggravation, exasperation, it's not a sign of limited tolerance, but he's expressing his infinite love.